Hello fellow homeschool parents, Sonia here. I know I haven't done a video in quite a while, but here I am with a math program video. I just wanted to share with you all today what we have been using for my daughter's second grade homeschool year. Now, for those of you that follow my channel regularly, you already know that we use the good and the beautiful math and we do use their original, original program. <laughs> When they converted over to the Simply Good and Beautiful Math, basically a revised edition of this one, we chose not to go ahead and change along with them and just stick with the original course. Now I'm just gonna go over this one really, really quickly because of the fact that this one is already out of circulation and the only place you can actually find it is on the resale market. Uh, for those who are interested in it, you can go to the Good and the Beautiful Curriculum Marketplace through Facebook. You might also be able to find some copies on eBay. I'm also going to be sharing with you today some of the extra things that we add into her program or I add into her program uh, just to kind of fill it out a little bit. This is a very good program. We started with it in kindergarten. It worked very well for her and then used it again in first grade. Same great result. So I decided to continue on in second grade with it. Now, we do use other things outside of this besides everything I'm going to show you today. One of the very uh, good resources that we use is education.com and Happy Numbers. Uh, I also like to utilize k5learning.com, which is a great place to get different educational resources, such as mostly worksheets, for every school subject. Um, K5 Learning is free. All you have to do is create a little account for free and you can go ahead and start printing off their worksheets. They do also have a paid version of it now that they recently uh, started, but a large majority of their sheets can still be gotten for free, like a very large majority and there's no limit on it. So I know for people who are familiar with education.com, there's a limit on the number of free sheets you can get from them. I don't use their free version for education.com. I actually use the paid version and it works pretty well. Um, that would provide a bunch of math LA and basically every subject worksheet you can think of as well as different educational activities uh, for math and LA uh, and also for typing like educational games and things like that that the kids can use on the website through Brainsy. Okay, so for this one, we're almost done with the level two math and it's gotten a lot more into graphing. Also uh, started introducing multiplication. So we talked about like repeated addition, arrays, Just all the introductory dividing groups. Okay, and we're almost done with that. Once we're finished with that, which is going to be in a couple weeks, we're going to go ahead on to level three. Level three, uh, anyone who used their product, product before, they, you do know it's basically all multiplication. They do also, um, you know, go over things that you learn about fractions, it goes over measurements, volume, rounding, shapes, <clears throat> a lot of word problems, everything that you need basically for a school year. Now one thing I do like about the Good and the Beautiful's product is that they include these um, Know the Mathematician lessons in here where you get to learn about different mathematicians, their contribution to the field of mathematics. <clears throat> so for the level three, we'll probably go up to maybe around lesson 25 for this year. And then we'll stop there. And that's where I put my little mark. Because then after that, they're going to go into multiplying by six, sevens, eights, nines, like all those other numbers. So we'll just stop there. Okay, <clears throat> aside from the curriculum, uh, I do also pair on some manipulatives and different math products here. As you can see, these things come from our The Good and Beautiful Math box. There's like an, actually an entire box with tons 
of different activities and whatnot in it. Um, I don't have the entire box here. Some of the things were not needed for us this year. But it has a bunch of math games. We haven't been using them as much this year, but they're still there. We also have some Tanagram activities and some reference sheets. Here is uh, something I add into our program. We have our clock, diving into shapes. That's really good for getting them to create 2D and 3D shapes. <clears throat> and then they get to combine shapes together, see things like faces, vertices, etc. Now for place value, I do have a lot of different place value props here. We have our place value chart there. These are for our magnetic whiteboard. So I have this along with the place value chips going all the way up to the, well, for this year, we're just going up to the hundred thousands, but it, it continues out into the millions as well. Here I have our place value cards. Very, very helpful, especially very helpful for when you start getting to those larger numbers, even the smaller numbers, it's very helpful. We've been using them since kindergarten. Um, for the larger numbers, extremely helpful though, for kids who are not comprehending things like the hundred thousands or 10 thousands, or, you know, adding some of the different numbers together based on place value. Excellent resource. Um, also for expanded form, things like that. Unifix cubes, something we've been using for years now, since my daughter was maybe in pre-K. Um, I started her with the Unifix cubes. First we use it for addition and subtraction. Now we use it for uh, the same way you'd basically use base 10 blocks. So now here we have our money realistic money that we use to practice money from time to time and in it I also added real coin I didn't like the look of their coin so I decided to add in real actual coin right here I have our flashcards and I just go ahead and I keep them in the box and then pop out whichever ones we're going to use when we decide to use them and last I have our base 10 blocks that we pull out occasionally to practice certain concepts uh, works really well for when the child is learning regrouping or um, even things like just building numbers, missing concepts, stuff like that. Also works well for expanded form. Now, I did talk about using other resources such as education.com and K5 Learning, so I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the pages that we got from there. Here are some that I printed out. This one is from education.com. Now our curriculum does provide a decent amount of learning in it and decent amount of practice. It's a spiral curriculum. However, sometimes I feel a more mastery approach is needed for certain concepts in order for the student to fully grasp it. So I decide to create packets. This one is a concept based packet that I created going over the same concept daily uh, to give her that daily practice. She hasn't finished all of these yet, but there's that one in regrouping. And then here are some other mini packets that are mo mainly for um, daily review. So comparing fractions, perimeter, place value review sheets. That one I actually got for free off TPT. And a whole bunch of others. That one's from K5 Learning. And I just create a bunch of packets based on our needs. Okay. Other ones I have right here in our binder that we've used are these here. Now the K5 learning ones, like I said, they're completely free. These were also free. I found these online somewhere. Okay, I try to find as many free resources as I possibly can. Uh, my daughter also uses Happy Numbers for math. Now with Happy Numbers, I know that there's usually a subscription fee, but uh, during certain times of the year, Happy Numbers were actually give free access for teachers and you can go ahead and create a teacher account and have free access to their website for the year for your children to play math games uh, and you can go ahead and set that however you like to whatever grade level they are and go through the full list of different uh, math concepts and just check on or check off whichever ones you want or don't want so we also use that as a free resource 
So that's everything that we use for our math program. I hope you all enjoy this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.